Hey guys, my day off. I'm sitting outside the nail place. It is nail 20. They open at nail 20. Y'all heard me, nail 20. 9.20. They open at 9.30. I already went and got my coffee, which is why I'm a little early, because I wanted to go to this Dunkin' Donuts over here, and I didn't know how long the line would be. This is the new Sunrise Coffee. It's the new Sunrise Coffee. It's $2.00. Right now on sale, it's supposed to be stronger than regular coffee. I got ice because it's my day off. It's already after nine o'clock. I kind of wanted iced coffee. Um, she told me it was a little bit stronger and like extra charge, so I got it the way I normally get it, which is cream, extra sugar. I forgot to tell her whipped topping, so I kind of left it alone. Um, it does taste stronger than my normal coffee. I will say that I do feel like it's a little bit stronger. I like that. Um, I may go back and um, get a hot one on a regular day just to get that extra coffee pop. Um, just to get that extra coffee pop. So it's definitely needed. Get my nails done. I took the stones off, some of the stones off. Some of them I couldn't get off, y'all. I be Let me tell y'all something. I lay these stones on with top coat, top gel, top coat, and these stones don't come off. And I have to struggle to even get them off. So what I do when I get home is I get any top coat gel polish and I put it on my nails and I put the stone on and I put it under the lamp. If I could show y'all how this butthole is part next to me. Y'all probably cannot even see how he just parked crooked next to me. I don't think he's staying, but y'all probably can't even see. It irks my freaking nerves, bro. Like, seriously, when I get old, I ain't gonna be able to drive. I'm telling y'all right now, I'm not gonna be able to do it because I'm gonna end up a little old lady out here going off on everybody. Like, I kind of want to move my car. And I am gonna move my car. I am gonna move. Oh, shit. Excuse me, y'all. Done dropped my darn coffee because of him. Moving my freaking car away from this truck that has parked like he don't have a lick of sense. And I like to move my car because I like for them to come back out and see that I moved away from them. That's better than me saying something because people are crazy these days. They shooting people these days and everything. I promise y'all, if it wasn't for them shooting people and stuff, I would go off on everybody. Like, I would go off on every darn body if it wasn't for that. I would go off on everybody. Period. Because that just irked my nerves. And I only had one nerve left, and he irked it. Like, what are you doing? Like, why he parked next to me? Seriously. He just hurt my nerve. That's what he did. That's what he did. Whole train of thought gone because he wants to park like a dick. And he in a big white long truck parking like that by people's car. Like, don't nobody want you parking like that by their car, bro. Seriously, ridiculous. Yeah, so anyways, I'm at the nail place, going in. They normally open the door about four or five minutes before. Um, depending on who's around me, I may try to record a little bit of it. It's very hard to record in here. This nail place is not very, very big. And as people come in, um they're like right up on you there's no six feet i wear my mask in here i have my mask it's required in there anyways and it's required whether you have um the shot or not i think the sign says because last week a lady came in and she didn't have on her mask i guess she felt like she didn't have to and they came over to her and told her if she wanted to stay and get her nails done she had to put um her mask on so Um, she put it on. 
So I think it's required regardless. Me personally, and now they're talking about some other thing that's out. Like I'm I'm over it. I've been over it. Y'all know that. I don't really care what nobody says. I've been freaking over it. But me personally, if I'm in a um place where I'm in close quarters with someone, like this place where I know someone is not gonna be six feet from me, I'm gonna wear my mask. Because I don't know what you've been doing. I don't know where you've been. I don't know what you've been doing. And so you're too close to me and I'm going to wear it. And that's what I'm going to do. So it just depends on where I am. Um, it just depends on where I am. The other day I went to the mall and you guys will see it before um, this video to get my semi-annual stuff. And I left my mask in the car and I made it all the way in the mall and I just was not walking back out to get my mask. I wasn't and I didn't. And that's just that. And I was fine with it. Um, I take my vitamins. I take my echinacea. I take all my stuff to keep my immune system up. And for the most part, I still wear a mask. But I wasn't going back to the car. I was not. I was being lazy that day. But, all right. Let me go see if they open the door. And I will come back and show y'all. And somebody has suggested the neon yellow or something. And we're still in the summer months. No, neon orange. I think I'm going to go with the neon orange. That's what I think I'm going to go with. I wrote down y'all suggestions. But yellow, I just did. That's the reason why I'm not doing yellow again. But since we're in the summer months, I'm going to go ahead and hit up the neon orange if they have it. So I'll be back. Guys, I am leaving the nail place. I went with the orange, the loud, 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 neon, loud, neon orange. Um, excuse me. I don't know what I'm going to do to them. Because they're entirely too plain <laughs> for me. Um, I was going to get matte. But she told me not to get matte. She was like, no, no. I was going to get neon orange, but in matte. And she was like, no, 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 no. And I was like, why? Because I think I have had matte before. But I very rarely do matte. And she was like, the matte. Um, these were new colors that just came out. She bought me out the new colors that just came out when I told her I wanted to do neon. And she was like, it's not going to last. I go normally three weeks, sometimes three and a half before I go back. She was like, it's going to peel off. And I respect that. I respect that. Um, it's 11.41. My appointment was at 9.30. So I was there longer this time because she didn't get there till almost 10. They opened the door at 9.30, but she did not get there till almost 10. She was running late. And it's okay. She she's very rarely running late. Things happen. Do anybody work anymore? Like I know they're probably saying that about me, but where does all this traffic come from? It is eleven o'clock on a Thursday morning. It's too much traffic out of here. Y'all need to get some jobs. You could go ahead. I gotta go across. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody was trying to be sweet to me. Hey, boo. But like, can y'all go to work when I'm off? Because I really like to have the road to myself. People don't know that about me, but move. Go to work. When I'm off, I need y'all at work. This traffic out here like it's a darn Saturday. Okay? Like, for real. They out here like it's a Saturday. Anyway, when y'all was little, did y'all think that when everybody was asleep, y'all was asleep? Even in my younger years, I used to think when I was at work, everybody was at work, but no. I know it's a stupid conception, but you think that everybody lives the same lifestyle as you, and they don't. Um, so she was late, which was fine. I didn't have anything planned today except for I have to go home and wash my spread and stuff. So she was late. It was fine. Um, she had the girl behind me, though, got there like 945. And that girl's still sitting there and hasn't been done yet. That would have made me mad. Um, I don't know if that girl had an appointment or not, though. That's the only thing. And she was getting her nails taken off in a new set. So before she started me, she cut her nails off and put her under the foil, you know, put the remover on there and put the foil on there. That never works for me, by the way. Maybe I'm impatient, not letting it stay on long enough. I don't know. But I've tried to soak my nails off and get the cotton ball with the remover on it and then put the foil around it. Try that. That don't work for me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. What kind of nail remover, polish remover they using? Um... But, so she's been sitting there, let's just say 10 to 11. She's been sitting there two hours. But she did a soak off. 
while she was waiting. So I guess all her time wasn't wasted because now when she get in the chair, it's just time to do her nails. Like I said, I don't know if she had an appointment or not. Or if she had an appointment, but she came early to soak off. Her appointment could have been for like 1030 or 11. And she probably came early to do the soak off. So to each his own. But not that bad. Not that bad at all. I um, She is going on vacation for five months. The girl who does my nails. Who goes on vacation for five months? She is going on vacation for five months to another state. I'm not really sure what her be, what what her lifestyle is. I know she has a kid. I don't know how old this kid is. She won't be back till December. School will start back before December. So I'm kind of curious. This must be a younger kid that doesn't have to go to school because I just don't see you put, putting him in school and then pulling him out after Christmas and switching all that stuff around. So this has to be a younger kid. Um, one of her regulars that's been, she's been doing her nails for four years said she does this every year. So now that I'm here, now I know that this lady goes on vacation for five months from July to December. Um, she leaves next week. I wasn't aware, so I'm glad I got my appointment in. So I have to use Susan for the next five months. So stay tuned. Susan is the owner. Susan is the one that I tried to get when I first was coming there. I actually made my appointment before I left. So let me put it in my phone. Actually made my appointment before I left because I know Susan is going to be booked. So I made my appointment before I left and I'm gonna have to do that for the next five months because with Susan taking her, Susan is always booked, always booked they say. And with her taking her people and Jasmine's people, she's going to be bombarded and so, um, I need to go to there next time. Just seen a store I want to go to. I really haven't driven around this area since I moved in this area to see what's really around. And I need to. But Susan is going to be he hella booked. So I went ahead and made my next appointment. So my appointment is made for three weeks out. I'm um, her first appointment. So that's good. Um, I'm cool with that. And so I'll be ready for that. And that will be the first week in, the end of July, first week in August. That'll be three weeks for me. And so we're going into the fall. And I don't know what colors I'm going to do for the fall, but yeah. And my friend T wanted me to bling out every nail. Oh, Lord. I may bling out one or two. The only thing with me blinging out every nail, it's easier to bling out every nail when, when you get ready to do them over. You could just cut them off. I don't cut mine off, and I take my stones off before I go. So I have to sit up the night before and better not be the police because I'm speeding. I have to sit up the night before and take all those stones off. I don't have to, but I do. I feel like it saves, it saves the nail tech time. And it keeps me from being irritated with them taking them off. Because sometimes, and this is going to sound weird, sometimes when they are trying to take the stones off my nails, they irritate the heck out of me. I, I'm more calmer taking them off myself. And like I said, I put my stones on good. Good. Okay? Um, so, I may bling out one or two nails the next time around, T. I'm going to bling out one or two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go get them done and I'm going to have them leave two nails with nothing on it. And I'll do them when I get home. I'll bling them out myself. Um, I almost wish, and I need to look for it. I wish they had, it probably won't be the same. I'm so bad. A sheet of bling. Like I wish they had a sticker sheet of rhinestones and you could just lay that sticker over your nails. If they do, y'all better DM it to me. DM it to me. Like a sticker sheet of rhinestones. And you could just lay it on your nail instead of placing every stone down on the nail. That's what I wish they had. That would be so freaking cool. I think my nails will be blinged out every single time if they made a sticker sheet of rhinestones. And I know Michaels and Joann's has the little sticker sheet of rhinestones 
for your planner and stuff I don't know if that would work if I try to stick that sticker sheet on my nail and I may try it on my toe one time to see if it'll work I almost feel like it'll be too spaced out to look decent but I wonder if you can put something some glitter polish or something in between I don't know uh, that's an option I'm gonna check that out I'm gonna check that out but it would be so much easier if there was a sticker sheet of nail rhinestones to put on your nails and then when you get ready to take it off you could really just peel that sticker sheet off instead of trying to get every single last one of those rhinestones off so that's my nails i gotta go in this place and then go home and wash i hope y'all enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time